It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water, like water, like water, like water. Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Running water never goes stale, so you gotta just keep on flowing. Keep on keep on. Just keep on flowing. You have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. I mean, you gotta put the whole hip into it. Snap, snap, become one with the. You better train every part of your body. Believing styles, styles separate man. It's a process of continuing growth, process of water. Water can flow, or it can cramp empty, be formless, shapeless, like water. Be water, my friend. Boxing World, Kid One Time Thurman sounded off on May weather. As a lot of you guys already know, Keith Thurman, just like Amir Khan, has been passed over by Floyd Mayweather and fighting Burstow instead this coming September 12. Now, in this article that I read today, I guess Thurman got some stuff off his chest that he want to get out. Um, I'll read you guys the stuff that he said and um, I'll let you guys think about it, alright? He said, I'm the realist fighter. You guys are going to see in a really long time because I'm not afraid to talk about boxing. That's the way it really is. That's what Keith said. There are beautiful things about sport boxing and there are ugly things. I can see that Thurman's being serious when he said these things. You know? Obviously, Thurman is somewhat upset that, um, he didn't get that fight. Thurman, just like Amir Khan, thinks that they deserve more to fight than Berto. But Berto indeed come out of nowhere, as you guys know. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of people are shitting on the Mayweather versus Berto fight because a lot of people supposedly don't really know who Berto was or is until Mayweather announced that he's going to be fighting him. Keith Thurman, quote unquote, let's watch money spend his money on a Rolls Royce and Bentley. Let's watch money go to strip club. Let's watch money go around with bag of money and go buy some shoes. Whatever he wants to do, America is going to watch. It's called the money show. So Keith Thurman is basically saying here, in my own opinion, that Mayweather is a spotlight. You know, people will watch him regardless. Now, would the numbers be the same as uh, Mayweather's previous opponents fights then that's a different story Keith Thurman I can sense some implication that he just wants Mayweather to to retire already you know what I'm saying like you're done already you know what I mean like 18 19 years in the game now you're starting to cherry pick you know there's nothing else to prove you might as well just do your little money show and get out of the business or the sport Keith Thurman also said here that he's come to conclusions that watching Floyd in the past three years especially dissecting their comment that Ellerby said what I've come to acknowledge is that Floyd Mayweather is a very special position in his career where he has more power than anyone else in the sport of boxing. Well, all of you guys already know Floyd Mayweather Jr. is well, well protected by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and that's contrary to popular belief. He, stand, he stands that, and he uses that power 
to the best of his ability. I agree. Mayweather knows what kind of power he has over the sport of boxing, the business of boxing, the politics of boxing, and he does use that to his ability, to his advantage in many occasions, to include the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight. Keith Thurman emphasized, let's watch money, spend his money on Rolls Royce, Bentley, like I said earlier. Keith Thurman said or emphasized that no matter what Mayweather does, it's going to be watched by America. But he doesn't call it the best boxing, the best of the sport of boxing or anything like that. He simply calls it the money show. Uh, Mayweather is the highest paid athlete at the moment, especially, especially in the sport of boxing, in the history of boxing. As far as pay-per-view, um, even for one single fight, nobody's ever made $200 million, that's for sure. Keith Thurman said, so right now at the end of his career, he's making more money than anyone thought possible in the world of boxing, which is true. And to me, that is his goal, and he's made it. That's why he nicknamed himself Money. He loves money, Mayweather that is. He focused on money, and he wants to make history. Now, Keith Thurman also said here that he want to make history as well, but not in that way, not in the money way. But if he wants to make history on numbers and numbers alone. So once again, Keith Thurman said, I enjoy the money show. I wouldn't pay for the next fight, but that's on you. <laughs> that's what he said. He said that a lot of people already know. At the beginning of the fight of Mayweather versus Berto, at the be beginning of the talk, rumor, the fight was supposed to be free on CBS, kind of like give back to the boxing fans around the world. Now we're being told that it's not free. As a matter of fact, Floyd Mayweather Jr. on the kickoff press conference, he said that nobody is go uh, being forced to buy and watch the fight. Fight's gonna be sixty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. Seventy-four dollars and ninety-five cents HD. Still pretty up there. It's not no twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Still pretty high. Now, would people buy it? Sure, especially the Floyd Mayweather fans and Berto fans. But again, I want to emphasize to you guys how much, no matter how much, some of these YouTubers, some of the social media try to defend. That Mayweather versus Berto fight is not such a bad fight and it's not a cherry pick. It's it is. You know, you, you just can't defend that. You no. Know, you can't tell and lie to the boxing fans around the world that this fight is gonna be great. That this fight has possibility of an upset. It's just not. I mean Anything can happen in boxing. I get that. Got it. But it's very, very slim to none. Alberto pulling off an upset against Mayweather. And you guys know that. Like I said, no matter how much some of these YouTubers' channels try to defend the fight, that it's somewhat interesting. You can't. You just can't. The public's uh, mind or thinking about this fight. It's, it's very, very tough. It's very hard. Thurman admits he has mixed views on Berto getting the fight because the two are friends and share mutual respect. He credits Berto for shaping a portion of his talent and skills after sparring with him as a teenager in Florida and will be cheering for him. I guess what else can Keith Thurman or Amir Khan do, right? Other than cheer for Berto. Now, buying the pay-per-view, supporting the fight, that's a different story. I'm pretty sure Amir Khan and a lot of his Amir Khan's fans, because like I said before in my past video, Amir Khan has a lot of fans. I would say about 60, 70, 80 percent even of those fans are probably not going to buy the pay-per-view. Not at 74.95, 64.95 even. Now would they watch the fight? Yes, somewhere else. 
supporting the fight and watching the fight two different things you know what i mean supporting it by buying it and watching it through streaming or your neighbor then that's fine but one thing we know for sure keith thurman is going to watch the fight but they ain't gonna buy it as for the reason mayweather passed him over keith thurman believes it comes back to power <coughs> excuse me why does the king chop off people's head keith thurman said because he can according to keith mayweather yields so much financial power that the networks are unwilling to force him into taking a tougher matchups he has so much power the networks don't have the gusto keith said the love the revenue they love the money he brings so everyone says yes sir mayweather sir that's true that is very true we love you sir they accommodate floyd and as long as they're going to do that but mayweather's reign will be over soon unless he comes back to fight another fight surpassing rocky marciano's record at 50 and 0 after winning berto and becoming 49 and 0 tying up rocky marciano's record Keith Thurman emphasized also here that says everybody knows that the day I beat Diego Chavez, I became the WBA interim world titleist, which made me the number one contender. Now for some people, for some some other opponents out there, boxers that wanted the Mayweather fight would have to disagree that Keith Thurman is the number one contender. I mean, we got Bradley, Keith Thurman. Yes, Bradley may have a very very slim chance of winning against Mayweather but that's not the case here who really deserves the fight who's the number one contender now that's a different story a lot of people saying that people would rather see Amir Khan even though before Amir Khan's being criticized to fight Mayweather and wanted Manny Pacquiao instead now that Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao have fought some people say that they'd rather see now I mean, this is coming from people that are not even Amir Khan fans. They said they'd rather see Mayweather versus Khan, Mayweather versus Thurman, Mayweather versus Carl Brook, and obviously the elephant in the room, Gennady Triple G Golovkin. Which, by the way, even on social media, YouTubers, a lot of people said Mayweather will never fight Triple G Golovkin as long as he's in the sport of boxing. And last but not least, I'm going to tell you guys what Keith Thurman thought about Mayweather matching him up with Spencer. I'm sorry, with Spence. With Errol Spence. Mayweather also annoyed Keith Thurman by publicly suggesting he should face Errol Spence Jr. Following the unbeaten welterweight's prospect June 20th victory over Phil Logreco. That's complete talk. Throw it in a mix so we could stop talking about Keith Thurman versus Floyd Mayweather. That's what Keith said. It's called trying to get the monkey off his back. But it's more like gorilla with his hands. You know, Keith Thurman is known for being very vocal, opinionated, speaks his mind. No breaks there. Spence also called out Thurman after the fight, which didn't seem genuine from Thurman's perspective. So, what Thurman is saying that Errol Spence was just going to the motion and pretty much speaking for Floyd Mayweather. With all the welterweights Errol Spence can call out, he wants to call out Keith Thurman with a big question mark. Floyd Mayweather told him to do it. Yes, no problem. I'll do what you ask. Whenever that boy deserves an actual title shot against a real champion, I'll be there and I'll be willing to give him the chance. But not as of yet. As always, let, let me know what you guys think. Drop me some comments. Make sure you guys thumbs up my videos. And I'll talk to you in the next one. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't 
concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water, 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 like water, like water, like water. Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Running water never goes stale. So you gotta just keep on flowing, keep on keep on. Keep on flowing. You have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. I mean, you gotta put the whole hip into it. Snap, snap, become one with her. You better train every part of your body. Process of continuing growth, process of water. Water can flow, or it can cram empty, be formless, shapeless, like water. Be water, my friend.